Hi Ben here, Amateur Call Sign M7 FRS and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating sending and receiving slow scan television or SSTV using the Zygu G90 along with a CE19 breakout box. So if we look at the Zygu G90 first of all, I've got the uh, cream coloured cable here which comes out of the back of the G90 and into the CE19 box itself and then from the CE19 um, we've got the AF connection just there which uh, is a single 3.5 millimeter uh, stereo jack which then splits uh, in this little splitter box here and this is a cable I've made myself it was uh, from the kit that comes with the, the CE19 that then splits into two separate cables one is the audio out and the other one is the audio in and they just simply go into one of these little cheap uh, USB sound cards into the USB slot on the side of the PC itself. So if we have a look at the G90 settings and my G90 is using firmware version 1.79b first thing we need to change is uh, the mode so we're currently in upper sideband or USB because I'm on uh, the 20 meter image for, uh, center of activity, so 14230. We still want to be on upper sideband, but because we're using version 1.79b of the firmware, um, we've got the ability to change that now to upper sideband data. So if I press the mode button, uh, you can see we've got um, UD, so that's upper sideband di uh, data or digital, and CW, CWR, narrow FM. AM as we scroll through, lower sideband uh, and you've got the same, you've got lower sideband data, upper sideband again and upper sideband data. So upper sideband data is the one we want and that's just using the mode keys on top just to scroll up and down. Now I'm not using cat control in this instance, the cat control cable does now work, if you've seen one of my previous videos the uh, cat control I couldn't get to work but it does work now and I'll use that if we're doing things like FT8 uh, but for SSTV I just keep it nice and simple and we'll use it without. So we're in data mode or data upper sideband. I'm going to press the function key and then I'm going to press the volume knob and I'm going to switch to Vox operation. So Vox is off at the moment. So we'll just rotate the uh, control and it'll say Vox is on and also you get the indicator at the top of the screen there to show that we're in, in Vox mode. I can then check the Vox gain as well. So if we click the volume control again, you'll see we get Vox gain here. And for me, I've got Vox gain set on 10 and that works for me. You might just need to check, um, depending upon what sort of signal you've got coming in or out, or out, of, the, uh, out of your PC or laptop as to what you need the uh, Vox gain on. But like I say, for me, it's uh, 10. If you're using an older version of the firmware and you're not changing um, between upper sideband uh, data or upper sideband itself, you may find that you need to, with the function button pressed, press the power button and uh, you can choose between the mic or the line input. I'm going to leave that on mic, although it is a line input, uh, because we're in data mode it knows uh, to use the line input anyway, so you don't need to change between mic and line in this version of the firmware. If you're using a different version or an older version of the firmware then uh, you may find you'll need to change that which is why I thought I'd uh, just uh, worth a mention but uh, we're going to leave that alone. Right so let's go over to the laptop now and have a look at MMSSTV. Okay, so we're running uh, MMSS TV, and I'll put a link in the description down below as to where you can find uh, the download for MMSS TV. And we're going to have a look at the settings there, and you can see it's uh, receiving quite a weak signal at the moment, but it is uh, it is receiving some SS TV there. So first of all, uh, like I say, I'm not using cat control on this. So if I go into options. And then we're going to have a look at Setup MMSS TV. And then we're going to look at TX first of all. PTT port none. Um, if you were using CAT control, you'd use whichever COM port you're using, but we're not. So I'm doing it quite simply just by using Vox control. So uh, that is set to none on mine. On 
the miscellaneous, you'll see the sound card inputs and outputs. Um, I'm using the, like I said, the little USB sound card or USB audio device um, for the input and then the same for the output as well. It's speakers on one on the output and then a microphone on the input. And then we're going to click OK. And yeah, then we're uh, pretty much ready to go. So if we go into transmit, uh, you can see I've got myself an image up there. And then when I hit the transmit button, there you go, you can see the uh, the G90 is now uh, sending that SSTV. And uh, you wouldn't normally be able to hear it, obviously, but I've uh, just got the little uh, trusty Quan Sheng just to monitor the, uh, the audio there. So uh, you can see it is currently sending out that SSTV image. Anyway, as always, I hope you found this video useful. Remember to hit the like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment and we'll see you on the next one. 73.